Ever wondered how your computer recognizes images and patterns as well as you do, sometimes even better? Well, a key player in this fascinating process is what we call multi-channel convolution, a fundamental operation in the realm of deep learning. Here's a simple way to understand it. Multi-channel convolution is like having multiple sets of eyes, each seeing the world in a unique way, then combining these perspectives to form a more comprehensive understanding of the visual data. This operation is crucial in image and pattern recognition tasks, helping machines to see and interpret complex patterns that are otherwise difficult to discern. The process of convolution involves filtering input data through multiple channels, each designed to recognize different features. The results from these channels are then pooled together to create a more detailed and nuanced representation of the input data. So, multi-channel convolution is a key operation in deep learning that helps in effective processing of visual data. Now that we've grasped what multi-channel convolution is, how about we delve into how it actually works? First off, let's talk about channels. In the context of multi-channel convolution, a channel is a distinct layer of information. For example, a color image has three channels, red, green and blue. Each channel represents a different aspect of the image. Now, let's bring in the concept of filters. Filters are small matrices that we apply to our input data, moving across the channels to extract specific features. Each filter is designed to identify a particular type of feature in the input data, such as edges or textures. The process of convolution is where the magic really happens. We slide our filter across each input channel, performing element-wise multiplication between the values in the filter and the corresponding values in the input data. We then sum up these multiplied values to give a single output value. This operation is performed for every position in each channel, resulting in what we call a feature map. This feature map represents the features that our filter has identified in the input data. Now imagine we have multiple filters, each designed to identify different features. We apply each filter to each input channel, resulting in multiple feature maps. But we don't want to keep these feature maps separate. We want to combine them to get a more comprehensive view of the features in our input data. So, we come to the final step of the multi-channel convolution operation, aggregation. We take our multiple feature maps and aggregate them to create a single output map. This aggregation might be as simple as adding up the values in each feature map. The resulting output map provides a condensed representation of all the features our filters have detected across all input channels. And that, in a nutshell, is how the multi-channel convolution operation works. It's all about applying filters to each input channel and aggregating the results. Are you still with me? Great! Let's recap the crucial points about multi-channel convolution. First off, in the realm of deep learning, multi-channel convolution is an essential operation. It helps in processing multi-dimensional data, including images and videos, with precision and speed. This operation is performed step by step, where each input channel is convolved with a unique filter and the results are summed up to create an output feature map. Now what makes multi-channel convolution truly stand out is the use of multiple channels and filters. Each channel carries different information about the input, while diverse filters extract various features. This combination allows the model to learn and capture complex patterns, enhancing its predictive power. Remember, understanding these key points about multi-channel convolution is fundamental for anyone interested in deep learning. So, we've demystified the multi-channel convolution operation today. But is that all there is to it? Not at all. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of deep learning is vast and multi-channel convolution is but one of its many fundamental operations. Think of it as learning the alphabet. You've got the basics down, but the real magic happens when you start forming words, sentences, and eventually entire stories. In the same vein, understanding multi-channel convolution is a stepping stone to mastering more complex deep learning processes. Remember, every bit of knowledge you gain about these operations brings you one step closer to making significant contributions to the field. So, I encourage you to delve deeper, seek out more information, challenge your understanding. So, keep exploring, keep learning and remember, 
The future of technology lies in deep learning. Until next time, stay curious.